Uh, hi, uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Le Chen Zhen, and I am a PhD candidate from uh, UIUC. Today, I would like to introduce our recent work, uh, Mulan, Multimodal uh, Causal Structure Learning and the Root Cause Analysis for Microsurvey System. And this work is collaborated with uh, Dr. Zhen Zhangchen and uh, Dr. Hai Feng Chen from NEC and my advisor, Professor Jing Ruihe from UIUC. So here is the outline. Uh, first, I will provide some background of our work, and then I will introduce our proposed method, followed by some systematic evaluation on uh, some real-world data, and finally, I will make a brief conclusion. So root cause analysis, or RCA, plays a very important role in maintaining the high performance of the microservice system. When the uh, system failure occurs, we need to locate the system failure uh, and uh, uh, in a very short time to reduce the potential loss. However, uh, manually pinpointing the root cause can be time consuming, uh, labor intensive, and prone to error. And to address this issue, we, uh, many automatic root cause analysis methods uh, are proposed, most of which are uh, typically constructing the cost, cost graph based on the system entity matrix. However, most of these methods uh, fail to leverage other rich data, such as system logs, and others may suffer from uh, uh, incomplete information, as the system log may also provide some extra information complementary to the system log or uh, systematic uh, matrix. And uh, this paper aims to address the uh, following three challenges. First, uh, we, ob we observe that system logs are unstructured uh, due to uh, it is uh, due to the lack of the uh, formal grammar rules and extensively employment employment of special tokens. Second, uh, some abnormal patterns may only exist in some single modality, and uh, but many of the existing method solely relies on a single modality. Thus, they fail to capture various uh, abnormal patterns. Third. Uh, low quality data may, uh, can also obscure crucial patterns, making it challenging to, identical, uh, to identify root cause. How, uh, the question is, how can we uh, make the robust root cause identification in case of the low quality modality? And before we introduce our method, let's look at the formal problem definition. Suppose we, uh, we are giving the system entity matrix, the system log, and the system KPI. Here, uh, KPI is the abbreviation of the system uh, key performance uh, indicator, such as uh, latency, which uh, monitors the performance of the microservice system. And, the goal, uh, and our goal is to uh, detect the top K uh, possible root cause uh, that, most, uh, that are mostly related to the system failure, as, as well as the uh, cost graph for the further system diagnosis. So next, uh, I'm going to introduce our proposed method. So uh, to address the aforementioned three challenges, we proposed the Mulan, a multimodal causal structure learning method. So this method mainly consists of four uh, modules, and the first module addresses uh, the three challenges. And specifically, the first log-tailored language model aims to transform the raw system matrix into the uh, log time series data. Uh, the second module is a contrastive multimodal causal structure learning module, uh, which extracts both the modality invariant and modality specific representation and co learn to causal graphs. The third module is a KPI aware causal graph uh, fusion module, which assesses the reliability of each modality and then fuses the two causal graphs together. And the, the last module is a network propagation based root cause localization module which aims to produce a top K possible uh, root cause based on the random work or on the learned cause graphs. And the next, I will introduce these, three, uh, these mo four modules one by one. So as we mentioned earlier, the system logs are significantly different from the human language as it's it is unstructured and it does not follow the uh, grammar rule of the human language. Thus, uh, we could not directly use a pre-trained model uh, to fine-tune the fine-tune on the log data and get the remutation. And here is our procedure. Uh, we we first use the log 
log parser to parse the unstructured log data, and then we convert the log sequence into a list of event token, uh, followed by their frequency in a fixed time window. Then we feed these uh, features into the log tailored language model to learn their representation. And to capture the correlation of the multimodality, we introduced uh, the contrast learning multimodal causal structure learning module, which is an autoencoder-based auto framework. The goal of the encoder is to extract both the modality-specific, uh, modality-invariant and modality-specific remutation via the contrast learning uh, mutual information maximization and there's a orthogonal constraint. And here, uh, the the backbone of the encoder is the graph stage. And uh, we utilize the mutual information maximization to ensure the mutual agreement between the two modality. Uh, the orthogonal constraint also is introduced to ensure that there is no information overlap between the modality invariant remutation and the modality specific remutation. And in addition, we also introduce the edge uh, prediction loss. This loss is inspired by the fact that the learned uh, feature should be able to predict the existence of the edge in the cost graph. And the decoder of the contrastive multimodal cost structure learning module is a VAR-based model, which predicts the future value based on the P-lens historical data and learns the causal relation among different entities. And after we, after we learn the two causal graph in the previous module, we aim to fuse these two causal graph with KPI-aware causal graph fusion module. So as, we, as I mentioned earlier, one main challenge is uh, when uh, one main challenge is how can we alleviate the potential uh, negative impact uh, in case of the low quality modality. So to, uh, uh, to address this issue, we propose to evaluate the modality quality based on the correlation between the uh, node entity and the KPI. So specifically, we measure the cross co correlation between the, mod, uh, between the node feature and the KPI. And there's the it follows the intuition that the uh, SV measures the similarity between the node feature and the KPI with the P time lag. Uh, and a large value of the SV usually indicates the inference of the causality from X to Y. And after we get the final uh, causal graph, we use the network propagation to mimic the propagation, pat uh, propagation pattern of the system malfunctions. So basically, it follows the graph for running work with restart to propagate information from one node entity to its neighbor. And the next, uh, uh, we, uh, I'm going to demonstrate the effectiveness of our proposed method on uh, several real-world sets. So specifically, we evaluate the performance of our methods on the uh, three real-world set and compare it with the following baseline method, including the uh, traditional PC algorithm and some other deep learning-based method, including the denotiers, uh, CLSTM, Reason, Nerja, et cetera. And there, here is our experimental result. And there, in this two table, the first uh, uh, two sections are the performance of the baseline method uh, using one single modality. And the third section are the performance of the baseline method use uh, both two modalities. And uh, if we look at this two table, we have the following observations. So first, uh, most of the baseline method uh, demonstrate the improved performance uh, when leveraging multi-modality data across various metrics. Second, we also observe that our proposed uh, MULAN consistently outperform all of these baseline methods across three datasets. And finally, I will make a brief conclusion. So uh, in this presentation, we try to, uh, we tackle the problem of the root cause analysis for the microservice system, mm -hmm. and we introduced our algorithm, which consists of four modules, including the log tailored language model, uh, contrast learning, a uh, contrastive multimodal causal structure learning module, causal graph fusion with KPI aware attention, and uh, we utilize the network propagation based uh, root cause identification to produce the uh, top K potential root cause. And uh, 
In addition, we, in the experiment, we evaluate the effectiveness of our proposed method on three real world sets. So uh, right now, I'm ready to uh, answer any question you may have.